Hello you all, welcome to the channel. It's uh, Rad from Radko Tarot and in this whole video we are going to check uh, the weekly general tarot reading for your star sign for the week 11th to 17th of uh, January 2021. And in case you are interested in a personal reading with me, you can check out the description down below and there you're going to find a, uh, a link to my website from which very front page you can see the full list of my services and as well their pricing. Also keep in mind that the content for YouTube and Facebook, they are uh, separate, they are exclusive to one another. While in YouTube you can find um, your weekly general tarot readings. In Facebook you are going to find astrology posts performed by the Pisces Moonbeam, which is an exceptional astrologer that works with me. And as well you can catch me live and have your daily tarot readings. So with that being said, enjoy the show. Hey you all, uh, I'm sorry for the interruption. I just uh, want to tell you that this video is for a Virgo Sun, Virgo Moon and as well Virgo Rising a weekly tarot reading for 11th of January up until the 17th of January 2021. It was just I was very tired at the end of the recording and to me, for in my language, the star signs are completely different from what the English has them, right? Virgo and Libra, they sound all the same. And while in the video I do say uh, Libra, I meant Virgo, just so there is no confusion out there. So I hope I am forgiven for that mistake. And if it is not off-putting to you, please enjoy the show. All right, so we do have Libra Sun, Libra Moon, and as well Libra Rising on uh, our hands. And just give me a second, guys, here to um, shuffle the tarot cards and we're gonna jump uh, right into it. Right, so uh, the first one that uh, you Libra have is uh, the Ten of a Pentacles, uh, followed by the uh, Six of Wands. Moving next, we do have the Ace of Wands, followed by uh, the Devil card, right? And uh, the last one for you guys, that is to be Justice. Uh, those uh, five cards, like that. And... Uh, it seems quite of a week. So with uh, the uh, with the first one, this is how you do enter into the weekend. The Ten of Pentacles points that your um, that your very first day or a couple of days of the week are going to be rather very comfortable to say the least here with the Ten of Pentacles. That is because which whatever you do, plan to do in, in those two days, either to work or to spend time with family, you know, or just with your beloved one, whatever plans you do have, they are going to, uh, pre first of all, manifest. Second thing, it, mean, it is that they are going to be a very good investment, okay? Whichever whichever way you see it. So spending time with your family is going to be a good investment that is going to make you happy Spending uh, spending time in your career or spending resources into your career is going to be a good invest investment Whatever you do in the first couple of days is going to be a very very good investment That is going to pay off in money or in happiness or in comfort whichever way you want to spend your time with uh, another thing with the Ten of Pentacles, it is that at the very first couple of days here, you are going to feel as well very free, in a sense of that free to do whatever you want. Here we are talking about a um, independence that you are going to have from whichever anything somebody tells you that you got to do, so nobody is going to harp, is, is going to harp on you, all right? is going to be harping on you. Uh, nobody is going to put strings on you as well. In general, you are going to feel very liberal and very independent at that particular point. And the last thing about the Ten of Pentacles here, which is by, uh, um, uh, because we don't have any, um, how can I say, we don't have any uh, positions here. This is just a string reading, so it's it's far fetched, but is going to happen to some of you. Uh, Libra, that card could point that somebody from your past may come back um, into your presence, and the um, circumstances under which it comes back 
Uh, these are a circumstances where they betrayed your trust back in the days. Uh, either they lied to you, they cheated on you, uh, you know, or they pretty much uh, turned out not to be as good friend as they uh, pretended to be, and so on and so forth, whatever. Right, um, they are going to try to earn your trust again. And the thing with the Ten of Pentacles, it is that they have learned their lesson, right? So they, they do realize what they did. They want to mend things around. They want to pretty much uh, um, recuperate the situation in between you two. Should you allow them or not, that is entirely up to you. And uh, the second card here, it is the Six of Wands. And we spoke about investments whatever you plan to do, right? And here, right after the first couple of days, the results are not going to be delayed. Here with the Six of Wands, these are the rewards from your investments, okay? Either your investment could be love, money, uh, efforts, time, whatever, you know, attitude, whatever you do, the investment could be anything. So here we do see the rewards of your investments coming about and also the recognition depending on where, wherever you do plan to invest and spend your time with. And with the Six of Wands, it's just you're going to have that peak of experience at that point towards the middle of the week, say end of Tuesday, Wednesday, maybe start of Thursday as well, uh, where you're going to feel, say, at the top of the world that the best happened to you and you couldn't, couldn't be more wrong about that. Because with the Six of Wands, this is just the, um, a milestone. Think of that you have um, just been vacated for the biggest position you thought you can be ever. And you get that position at these days, and you, you feel like you're on the top of the world, that you have accomplished, you know, a goal, not just a goal, but a prospect of yours, right? You couldn't be more wrong because you can climb even, high, even higher. For with this one here, that's like I said, just a milestone. And that's why you should not stop being performing well at that particular point. Now, there is nothing wrong with you taking your time a little bit to enjoy the fruits of your of your labor, to enjoy the recognition, to enjoy how much people are uh, commending you as well uh, and accolading you. But on the, in the same time, you constantly need to think of what follows next. You constantly need to think of what you can do better and uh, and just do it. You're going to be on fire. That is what I am trying to, to say here towards the mid of the week. And just as you are on a fire, a gain for opportunity comes about here with the Ace of Wands. Now, what is um, what are the properties of that gaining for opportunity that comes with the Ace of Wands? Well, this isn't an opportunity that you know little about in a sense of that you have not been in such an environment beforehand. That could be a project that you know little about how to push forward. You know, that could be a person that you know little about how to deal with. OK, that could be um, a very surprising holiday, for example, that your partner uh, booked for you that you know little about how to deal with situation. So that is something that catches you a little bit unprepared, let's say it that way. But I don't think that it's going to be about the holiday because with the Ace of Wands, uh, by you putting yourself into a situation that it is not uncomfortable. So don't mess these things around. This isn't an uncomfortable situation. This is a situation that you're going to be eager to be and to learn. And through learning there, you are simply going to um, find, if I may use that term, so you're simply going to find some kind of a talent or some kind of a knowledge, you know, some kind of skill that you did not have the need to use up until this point. But now, since you see, since the situation demands it and you start using that skill, you actually see that you are very good at it, all right? And uh, it's pretty much, this is where you uh, build up or not just exactly build up, but enrich you are to enrich your arsenal of skills, of knowledge, of, of, um, of talents. Uh, if I have to give an example, that is no different when I was back into the university and I was doing a, uh, a gears, right? Kind of like I, I am, I was doing projects on gears for other students that were way too lazy. And this is pretty much the way that I was making my money back then. Uh, and um, 
it, it was a lot of calculations and I thought, you know what, maybe I can write a code. Uh, it was back then on PHP, so maybe I can write a code that is going to calculate everything for me. And surprisingly, I did surprisingly well, actually. I wrote, I, I wrote the code for a couple of days and it worked. And that kind of like uh, made me more and more efficient. So it was something I never done before. And it's a skill that I was good at, all right? But I never need, had the need to do it. So in this uh, kind of like a different situation, I had to do it and it turned out that I was doing great. Shame I have not, um, how can I say, strayed into this, uh, into this direction. But in any case, this is like I said, a gaining for opportunity that is gonna make you uh, define, uh, find something new for yourself that you can do, that you can make, all right? And in generally that you can be. And after that, we do have the devil and with this newfound power of yours, guys, oh my God, you're gonna feel almighty. Oh, you're gonna feel that like, like, like you can do anything, whichever you uh, wish. So with the devil, that is going to be true, all right? Uh, towards the end of the week, you actually gonna have the chance, and not just only the chance, but as well the power to pretty much do whatever you like. Uh, the way somebody says about that card that really knows what tarot is, actually they, they are the creator of the original taught tarot. Uh, they say that this is when you satiate the hungers of your needs and the hungers of your soul. So the, if love is something you are hungry of towards the end of the week, you can satiate that hunger, right? And, um, being successful it is your hunger, then towards the end of the week, you can definitely satiate that hunger. Now, the thing about the devil it is that you have the control over the circumstances, right? So you are the one who forces the circumstances under which you are going to become lucrative, loved, say, all right, uh, um, successful and etc. etc. That is if you do decide to push those circumstances. And those circumstances are neutral by nature. What I mean that they can do a lot of harm to those around you, all right? They are not a beautiful circumstances with red car carpets and roses. I say they can, but they may not. So you have to be very objective at that point and very accountable to your actions if you do not want to experience the negative side of the devil card where you have to face the consequences of your negative actions towards others, that is. Okay, so you can satiate your hunger of love but you may lose friends for it. That, that's just for example, you may become very lucrative but you may lose your job for it. So here, uh, the, the, the power of the devil is very neutral and whether you're gonna use it to build or to destroy, that is entirely, entirely up to you, Libra. Um, that power is very intoxicating when you do realize that you can do whatever you like, right? And just for the time being, get away with it. It's, it's just, you know, people are not built to, to think for the circumstances. Think of the politicians. You know, and uh, nothing more to say about that. Just think of the politician. They have all the power in the world and they don't care for us, does they? Uh, and so after that, after the power of the devil towards the end of the week, you are to be judged. How did you use that power here with justice? This is the point towards end of uh, Saturday and Sunday, the whole day, where you are going to pretty much get whatever you deserve in either way, right? With the justice, this is where you do stand in front of the universe or in front of fate, and you cannot help but wonder, are the, are the happenings that are uh, happening to you the result of your actions, or they are yet to be, how can I say, um, they are yet to manifest moving forward. So at that point, uh, as you are going to be judged by the universe of, of how you manifested that amazing, amazing energy from the previous, uh, previous days of the week that gave you everything you needed, all right? 
Um, it will be very important to maintain your accountability toward the actions and toward the circumstances of the situations that you're going to be involved there. You're going to need an astute discernment as well, which is right and which is wrong. It will be yours to uh, adjudicate, if I may say it that way, for yourself, that is, all right? For the exterior, universe is going to judge you. And uh, yeah, it's, it, there is nothing else to, to be said here that the balance is going to be regained. So if you have abused way too much the power of the devil, the balance is to be restored where that power is abused on you, all right? And uh, yeah, I mean, you're going to get whatever you deserve. So I do hope that you used all of those blessings that are to be given to you throughout this, from the start of the week towards the end of the week for something good, for something creative, to make good into the world. Because the devil isn't about making good towards others, guys. It isn't about making good, good towards you. You have to make good toward the world. As, uh, as general. I mean, that, that could be through making good for yourself, through making good for others, you know, but you have to be objective about how you're going to use the power given to you, right? So uh, that being said, Libra, this was your weekly general tower reading, guys. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do liked it and we are to see each other next time. Until then, bye.